Okay, this lesson is properties of equality and congruence. Um, equality meaning things are equal to each other. One thing is, is essentially the same as the other. And congruence, which means the two things are exactly the same uh, in all ways. Size, shape, weight, color, expense. <laughs> congruence means exactly the same as, whereas equality just means basically the same as. Uh, first thing we're going to do is review a few of the rules that you may have used that uh, relate to equality in algebra. And you probably, when you learn them the first time, you probably thought, yeah, there's so many of these. But what I'm going to do is bring them up in a specific sort of a grouping so you can see how many of them are actually very, very similar to each other. Um, you use these rules a lot solving algebra problems. You just don't usually uh, point out the fact that you're using them every time you solve a step in an equation. First one we look at is uh, the reflexive property of equality, which basically says that anything is equal to itself. AB is the same thing as AB, and that's pretty straightforward, I think, pretty obvious. Anything is obviously equal to itself. There's no question there. Symmetric property of equality says that if one thing is equal to a second thing, then the second thing is equal to the first thing. And again, that's pretty straightforward. We hardly need to even state that, but it gives us a groundwork to build upon. So anything is equal to something else. That means that the something else is equal to the anything. Let's take a look at the second set here. Second set of rules is the transitive and substitution properties. The transitive property says that if one thing is equal to, let me change colors so we can keep these separate. If one thing is equal to something else, and say a second thing, and that second thing is equal to a third thing, then the first thing is equal to the third thing. So if uh, Brian is the same age as uh, Billy, then and Billy is the same age as Tanya, then Brian is the same age as Tanya. Again, that makes pretty good sense. Substitution property of equality is, a, is very similar. It says that if one thing is equal to a second thing, and the first thing, let's number these. If one thing is equal to a second thing, and the one thing, if you do something to it, is equal to a third thing, then if you take the second thing, which is the same thing as the first thing, and do the same thing to it, you get the same third thing. So if A is the same thing as 9, and a minus c is 5, then 9 minus c must be 5, because a and 9 are the same thing. Then for our second grouping of rules, these are all the operational properties of equality. Basically, it says if you do the same thing to both sides of an equation, it stays equal. And that's really what all these different rules, there's four different rules, one for each operation, but the rules are the same. They basically are just that, that statement. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, you can do it, and both sides will maintain their equality. And then finally, our last sort of kind of loner rule sits off by itself as a distributive property, which says that if you're taking a group of things, in this case 2x minus 7, and multiplying them by something else, in this case 5, that the group of things multiplied by 5 is the same as each of the things in the group multiplied by 5, 2x and 7, and then whatever you are doing to those two things inside the grouping done to the two things after they're multiplied. Those two ideas or those two processes are the same thing. 5 times 2x minus 7 is the same as 5 times 2x minus 5 times 7. So those are all the algebra rules that we worked with before. And the geometry rules that we're going to look at here are actually, again, very similar. They're, they're not much more difficult at all. In fact, you may recognize them or their counterparts in the algebra rules. The first one is the reflexive property of congruence. The reflexive property of congruence tells us that if something, that, that anything is equal to itself. Essentially, it says that anything is equal to itself. So line AB is exactly the same thing as line AB. Again, that's pretty obviously straightforward. Angle B is exactly the same thing as angle B. Anything is equal to itself. The second property, the symmetric property of, of congruence, says that if line AB is exactly the same as line CD, then CD is exactly the same as AB. Again, this is very similar to one of the algebra ones we saw, right? If 1 is equal to 2, then 2 is equal to 1. And it works the same thing with angles. If 1 is equal to 2, then 2 is equal to 1. And then finally, the third one says that if, if line AB is exactly the same thing as line CD, 
and CD is the same thing as EF, then AB must be the same as EF. This is that same thing about the ages we did, right? If 1 is the same thing as 2, let me change colors here, if 1 is the same thing as 2, and 2 is the same thing as 3, then 1 is the same thing as 3. And it works the same way with angles. So these rules are not really much new information compared to what you've done so far through algebra already. Just recognize that what you've done before you're probably doing again, or at least doing something very similar. And we're just going to point out each step along the way um, what rule says we can do what we're doing as we're solving our problems.